Test, test, test. Is the audio good? I hope it is. Yep. Okay. Uh, this might be uh, the first in quite a while. We <laughs> It's the third day of streaming in a row. I can't quite believe it, but here we are. Uh, I said I wanted to look at the gardens between, and I did. I popped into that for like 10 seconds to see what the game is. Uh, and then I remembered it was a multi-platform like crop. What do you call this? PS4, PS5, individual games, different trophy sets. What I've been trying to do recently is just play the PS4 version of the game before I play the PS5 one. And I hate the fact that it would give us two trophy stacks, but we're just going with it. So, uh, we're going to be playing the gardens between, and that's it. Great atmosphere to start with. I mean, it really sets it up. It's nice and emotive. Uh, the Twitch dashboard is still showing like a red bit, right? Let me just uh, see if that's improved. Okay, that's looking good now. So let's continue. They seem oddly quiet for having just been in like a uh, time pausing accident bubble thing. Okay, so I use the stick. Oh, okay, so that's forwards in time? That's backwards? Let's go backwards. So I take it. These are all the boxes from their home or something, and they were in a tree house. I don't really don't understand their situation though. Right. Do I want to go forwards or can I go back again? Okay, so that's the the start of this situation. Okay, so we've got some like packing peanuts, a cricket ball, some other nonsense that's falling out of that box. Uh, okay, it's it would be a cricket ball, but it's four times the size it should be. <laughs> Arena's room. Okay, so we've got a, a model airplane. Okay, so everything's scaled differently. So that's a tennis ball and that's a cricket ball. And what are they going to pick up? No, just look at it, okay. So they are about, f yeah, um, four to five times the size they should be. Because obviously that sack truck should be about half their size. So interact. Oh, okay, it's a lantern. What if I put it down? What does that do? Can I leave it? Oh, right. 
so we want to take it and put it up top. So we're at the very beginning. So their treehouse is now too small for them. Can we interact with that thing? Apparently not. Okay, so we have we have the left stick and we have X. They're pointing at a lantern up there, but what we're gonna Ah, and then we go back and collect the light. I see, I see. Do we have to collect it later on and put it somewhere else, maybe? Ah, right. And then we've got some more up here. So the light can be used as a bridge. Is there a jump? Yeah. It's almost black holy. Can we take more? What? Okay, so we can't walk past here with light because it will absorb it. That's the lesson here. But this thing, when the dude gets here, should be able to give us light back. We'll shut that. Okay, okay, that's fine. So we go back and go collect the light. I don't think I've seen any other interaction that we've missed so far. I guess this just goes up to the top and uh, <laughs> well, that was a bit of a, a stroppy song. Lap. left, does it take us back to the previous where we were? Obviously I'm trying to learn the mechanics. What's going to happen now? No, that completed it, I guess. Or... So what if we go... Can we go up top? Yes, in here. Obviously, I'm trying to learn the mystery of everything. So, she's moving out, is she? Oh, I see. Okay, it's a little vignette anyway, so... That is probably a bad sign. Let's... There we go, it's plugged in. around around from outside uh, I've got an external hard disk plugged in just to back up saves okay so I, I I thought that little thing would have a little more to it so my bad Look at 
I take it this probably means that all of these are starting at the start of their time. So I can probably skip pressing backwards. Hmm. That purple thing is one of the activation cubes. I wonder if we can stop it knocking those boards out later. And there's a bucket above us. There's a light petal above that cooler box. Boing! Okay, we need to get light somehow. Ah, that can... Okay, I see. What if we take it back here? Does it deposit the light in that top left spot, maybe? Okay, I can't hit X to do anything. But I assume that is for when we get later up on the thing, maybe? Did the bridge vanish? It's a little annoying. Ah, there's something in that bucket. Right, so dude has to activate this. So the problem is, the bucket currently has that in, and yet that dude hops over there. So that's going to be a problem for when we need to get light from it. Um, so how do we get light inside this box here? we don't have any light at the moment right let's put that there it should fill up as it lands on the cooler box and that thing's shut so it shouldn't disable it and then we want to rewind because it's lit now right and then we just continue on So it's obvious we have to give it to this thing because we walk, we otherwise walk past this um, black hole above us. So 
so it just walked up that slope without me interacting with it which felt a bit annoying because I don't want the game to take control away from me like that okay so that clearly means we can pass it to there but it will be taken away at that point so we we need to get light in this now and then put it in at this point so then it hops back over there I think the problem is we've not seen a point so far where I would get the light I think because that's low down here I don't... Okay, does that t get taken away? Yes. Okay, let's try that. Because I know it goes high, and I'm worried about that top one. Okay, so we take it again, right? So that it doesn't lose it there. We pass it back. And I think that should be good because it'll hop back to where we are now. I was wondering how we're going to cross this gap. And of course you just push on the stick and they hop. The problem is the light bridge further down, I probably could have hopped. It's just that obviously they put that little uh, activator to tell you you can't cross here. kind of odd having just like two levels per chapter or whatever you want to call them. At least we've got three now, but... <clears throat> this uh, this is reminding me of Monument Valley. Because it's sort of a... I assume this was initially designed for uh, mobiles. And I don't mean that in a disparaging way, but... Just like scrubbing through a timeline as being the only sort of uh, interaction. Seems like a mechanic that would be usable. <laughs> <laughs> I just pushed right and all it did was, okay. Jenga. Okay. okay, so that device controls time per object, maybe let's just assume. Is that a general concern? Oh, is that um, the surgery game that they've done a funny name for? Oh, dominoes? Okay, let's go. Ah, but this thing is... Okay, so all of these are a shared um, time space. This light thing is going to fall somewhere. There. But we're going to have to rewind this later to um, to clear. Oh, we don't want to open that up. Oh. Um, okay. So we get it, walk back, toggle that. To toggle the black holes, walk back. Now we want to rewind that, so we get past it. We don't need to do anything more. Toggle these again, I guess. And then see what we can do up here. It may be that we've left it in a state that's not useful. 
No, okay, we're good. I do like the shared dunk they do, that's quite cute. So I don't know how long this game is. I can't imagine it's more than an hour or two. Uh, so I'll do, you know, maybe half a dozen more of these uh, before we end our little look at this. I w it's not that I need motivation or a narrative, but I I would love to know why we're doing this. Oh, there are two paths. Okay. Can he use the calculator? Oh, it's a remote. <laughs> so what's that on the cliff? On our, on the left hand side is Is it a jewel case or something? I mean it's got an odd purple I guess it's intending to be a CD case. Okay, so there's that um hourglass thing up there that's electrified. And this cable's electrified. This probably means something. So that's the start of time. And the end of time is just the cable. Okay. So that's what we're doing. Then I assume we're walking back. And pressing the remote. Max tapes having like multicolored logos like that on the uh, on the labels. Right, so we have light. Can enable this. <coughs> Rain conductor. <laughs> okay, so let's put that there in case it moves, and see what we do with that. Yeah, okay, anyways. Oh my god, it's little Mario. Can it get light anyway? Don't know. What? Okay, right, so. Okay, that's good. And then we walk back to get the light. Yeah, we, we see dude. It's, it's not complicated. There we go. And we have the light. What I will do is just see if there's anything else that happens in this. Game over. Cute. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I, it's also, there's one on top of the TV. I don't think it's a jewel case, but I, I don't know what it is. It's not a recognizable shape to me anyway. Oh, no, it is. Okay. Oh, shut my mouth. Why does it have sides to it? Is it just meant to be a minimal representation of it, I guess? Super City Crow. I do wish people would go back. Uh, if there's like a novelty video game inside a video game, just make it as like a, a Ludum Diary project. I do like the the kinetics. Like, look at the the animation of her jumping down. It it's full of energy. They didn't have to make it look so, um, you know, so indeed uh, lacking the work. Right. Uh, we probably want to go here. Sit that there. Get her to put it on. Run it back. So we go find where we want to take it to. Don't see any light at the moment. Ah, well there's a cube that we can interact with, but this is way past um, where we're going to be able to get to on foot, isn't it? For that light bridge. So let's put it there. So we still have to see how this light is going to get Oh, okay. Um, so we need to put it in a state of where it's crossing over in front of this lamp. 
Is that close enough, do we think? Or do I just, like, pause it there? Maybe I should, uh, next time I see a, an hourglass, wait to just play time forwards to see if uh, I can get any useful information before I mess about. Just thinking, do I do I want to bring it round before we walk over here? But there's another device over here, so that should be okay. So we go up here. Can we reverse this way? No. Um, so as that moves on, it doesn't actually go down to the water. So I don't know how we're going to get that light again now. to this stone then up to there let's just leave it where she is So we're, miss we're missing something. Let's back up then. I do wonder if the game has... Uh, has you able to get yourself blocked out of a conclusion? So... Oh! That's got a flower on it that's not open. Oh, didn't mean to punch the camera. Uh, so that thing's there, I completely forgot that it was behind there. Are we able to interact with it? At all? No. Okay, so somehow we... Mm, I wonder if that moving block can support the cloth from falling. Let's, like, put it there. And now we need to activate this flower. Ah, there we go, okay. Right, so that's that open. Now we have to back up and go move this cube to catch it as it's falling. So it needs to be sort of in front here, I guess. back to it so uh, over here which, um, so she can pick it up and then we just walk forwards I think I don't think there are any black holes or anything so now we just walk up to the top yes hello so do we know his name I think hers was Alina right it's probably on a box and they just didn't read it. So from the looks, there are still quite a few more. At least quite a few more clusters of these things still to go. So we'll probably play for another 10 minutes. We can walk 
walk on clouds now. I like... I, <laughs> I was just looking at the graduations on that ruler and the inch marks don't particularly align with the, uh, the other things, but the metric ones seem fine. That's kind of cute. Okay, what was that bing bing for? And what is this cloud that's moving? Okay, so we're going to lose the light here. We don't want that. we add extensions to our little floating home? That's cute. As soon as I saw it cut, I was just like, does this cut all the way or just... I do like how um, shaders now make like distortions like that. Okay, obviously from like Half-Life 2 and onwards they've existed because that game used it for like magnifying glasses um, in the science laboratories. Okay, let me get it back. Okay, we so we need to talk about that for this walkway, right? I thought I just I thought I saw Is Okay, is the light we've got causing a problem here? Right, so we can't interact with that thing unless we've got light. But I thought the bridge here where we have to walk. Okay, I see there's a flower over there, so what we need to do is close that, deposit the light, and then keep going, because we don't want to do what we're doing. And that's shut, and that one's open. That should be fine. So now we know that we can walk on clouds, they can block our path in our interactions, and we can get rid of them with the light. So we have to manage our uh, our lantern. So this thing gets right to a flower at the start of the time, and then hops in water. They obviously can't put the lantern in it, because I'm nowhere near. So I assume do goes to the ladder? Yeah. Oh, and they swap over. Huh, okay. So I want the blue one, right? The third blue one. Right, so now I need to track which, where the other ones go. So that's the other blue one there. So I probably... That blue one goes there. Okay, I probably need to go all the way back, so... Let's put it on pink and see what happens so that we can track it. Ooh. 
probably just wait there the whole time. No, it goes over there. Okay. So that one isn't useful until later on. And the other one hops over from here to that. Okay, I think I'm overcomplicating it. I should just take it off the one that lands here and uh, activate the light bridge. Because I see there's another cube further up that um, we should be able to interact with. Now the other thing is we probably want to activate this and then pass it back so that we can go collect another because ah so that one that just jumped down there where does it go it goes in blue again Okay, I saw the wrong one. So that one goes in the blue. Goes down into... Okay, so it's pink. Hops there. Hops there. Okay, so it's that one that's nearest the end. I do like that far more games are having these white trees with little speckled sections on. They're very pretty trees. Paper bark trees or whatever. Hedge trees. There we go. So what's on this post-it? It's like a drawing of a tank or something. I can't even work it out. But it's cute they've decided to zoom in on this thing because obviously we've we've completed the level. We 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 understand what we're doing. And it's just like, hey, here's your reward. Watch it do its thing. No, I was thinking, what if we transfer this to the other ones that we haven't seen dancing around the level? Like I'm not entirely certain like this one to our right where that one goes, if we wound it back. And there's I bet you there's probably a thing for sending it to somewhere on the level. Okay, well... That's going to conclude the little look at the Garden of Between, and that game's actually quite enjoyable. Uh, I like these sort of puzzles where you have to deduce what you have to do by watching what's happening. It's a good-looking game at that. I would like a little more from these characters, but I know what it is. It's just hero, hero puzzles, work through it. Um, that's about it, really. I'll probably finish this later on tonight. And um, I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow, but uh, do join me. So, cheerio.